here today I'm going to show you how to install the Terraria server mod T-Shock as well as any plugins that you wish to use with T-Shock. With that said, let's get started. Now I will add a link in the description of where you would have to go to find this current version of T-Shock, but you would click on download the current edition, scroll down, click on download, wait for it to download, and it should be a zip file, and when you open it, you should be able to extract these three files, and I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Now, once you click on the Terraria server application, it should create another folder called T-Shop. And here you just select the world by pressing the number you wish to use. Enter the server port number. By default, it's 777. And wait for it to load. You're going to need a pencil and paper for this next part. Now you see there's an authentication code that you're going to have to type in. That bunch of numbers right there. And when we log into the game, you will see how you are supposed to type this authentication code out. Alright, let's log into the game, shall we? And when you log into the game, you are going to hit multiplayer, join, select your character, and in the server IP, you are going to type 127.0.0.1. And then the port is a default 7777. Now here, you type slash auth, and then type in the authorization code that the server program provided with you. And it will give you directions on what to do next. Here it says I have to add myself as super admin, so I do slash user add Miyaka, because that's my character name colon and then my password is going to be test and I'm going to add myself to the super admin group and when I hit enter it says the account has been added and to log in I just have to do a slash login Miyaka space test next I have to verify my authorization by typing slash auth dash verify and it should say my account has been verified and if you type slash help it'll show you all these commands that you can do now what I usually do when I shut off my server is instead of doing slash off I do slash save this way it saves the world before I shut down the actual server even though when I do slash off, it does save the world, I just prefer to do it this way. Now to install plugins for your T-Shock, you just simply download and then move the DLL file into the server plugin folder. And sometimes if the plugin is outdated, what you can do is create a shortcut to the T-Shock server and under properties type in dash ignore version and this will cause to ignore the t-shock api i have no idea what that means but it will basically ignore the versions and you're able to load the plugin that you want And that's the basics of installing T-Shock as well as some plugins you wish to use for T-Shock. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching.